Hi, welcome to the Trading Aces Syndicate Report for May 2013. Well guys, obviously our Rolex didn't quite pan out to how we hoped it would go. We damn went close though. Uh, we were only sort of 25 seconds into uh, becoming what I think would have been third place because uh, we know he's a good show jumper. That being said, uh, it could have been worse. He's come out of Rolex really well. He, uh, he was sound as a pound, his legs look great, uh, his spirits are good. I decided not to rest him for too long after Rolex. Um, obviously the fitness is a big um, thing with trading aces and uh, I decided just to give him about 10 days off and then I've put him back into gentle work. The gentle work has been a lot of walking, Silver's taking over the dressage full time and then I've had the guys here doing a bit of fitness work, jogging the hills and whatnot. I had a good long talk to Andrew Nicholson about the fitness program. I'm gonna tweak the fitness program around a little bit and get him, um, try and change the way I'm doing things and getting him a little bit um, stronger for a three day event at the end of the year. Long term, I think we should go back and do a three star at the end of this year. My heart of hearts, I think he'd go around Poe pretty well, but I think it's important that our next outing is a positive one. Uh, I'm thinking off the top of my head, probably Fairhill three star, maybe Bookalow, uh, maybe Galloway. But three hills, uh, th Fairhill is a good, strong, hard three star which will set him up for a next year's full star. I've got a bit of footage of him today doing dressage. Silva is gonna take him to a dressage show in two weeks. She's pretty excited about the way he's going. She, if he goes well there, she'll enter him for the Devon Horse Show, which will be quite a big deal having a, an adventure at the Devon Horse Show. I think he'll probably start eventing come Millbrook. If I'm back in action with my leg, I'd say we'll go out and have a run around the intermediate at Millbrook Horse Trials and then gear him back up to the three-star level. Thank you all for being uh, so understanding at Rolex. Obviously, it was heartbreaking for myself, uh, and I've got to say all of you were very, very kind and uh, supportive of uh, the disappointing result. So sit back. I'll try and fit the Rolex dressage test on the video today. Got a bit of the guys doing some fitness work and silver working on the flat of chrome. <laughs> Easy, easy. Don't faint. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Ride forward, ride forward, ride forward, ride forward, push. Good, keep everything organized. Don't jinx it. Sit down, fight for it, that last step. Right, um, great. Keep your content. Keep your content. Don't lose a connection. Go and don't move. Don't move. Gallery over here. I feel so proud. What? It's not a test. He's it's a real. It's his pants. So that's your pants. Okay. Oh, that's good. Well done, Lloyd. Come on, get going. Alright. Oh my god, it's 
It was like it was great. Like, we can recover. Thank you. 